How's it going, everybody? Dieter Kurtenbach. We're in Toronto at the Maple Leafs Arena that they have retrofitted for basketball. Matt Schneidman's here. Mark Medina's always here. We got to talk about game two of the NBA Finals. Warriors lose game one, and now it's adjustment time. The Warriors seem pretty clear, almost excited by the opportunity to kind of make some adjustments going into game two. But Mark, what, what's the number one thing you take away for what the Warriors need to do heading into the second contest on Sunday? Well, it's definitely not a state secret, Dieter. Steve Kerr has been talking over and over again, as well as the rest of the guys, about improving on tr transition defense. The numbers speak for themselves. Gave up 24 fast break points. They committed 17 turnovers. Uh, the Raptors scored 16 points off of that. So that's kind of exhibit A of what they need to shore up. And usually turnovers and transition defense reflects the Warriors level of effort or lack thereof. So I suspect that those two things will completely be ironed out in game two. Matt, I'm curious as to your thoughts on how Antonio Brown will integrate with the Raiders offense. <laughs> but first, um, Pascal Siakam goes off for 32 points. Is it just as simple as put Draymond Green on him? I mean, you're not going to see a game where Pascal Siakam, let alone anyone in the NBA, shoots 14 for 17 from the field. I believe he made 11 straight shots at one point. Oh, yeah. Draymond Green said it just now. He said it after the game. He, he takes the responsibility for that. He said not too long ago that he's the best defender in NBA history. You can't let a guy who, you know, could win most improved player this year. That's a nice award, but you can't let anyone go for 32 let alone Pascal Siakam. So Draymond's got to do a lot better job making his shots tougher. Siakam did make some tough shots, but Draymond, he has a lot on his plate with pushing the pace on offense with Kevin Durant out, but at the same time, he's got to lock down Siakam because even though Kawhi Leonard wasn't the superstar that he's come to be last night, Siakam made sure that didn't matter. Raptors made 62% of their contested shots in game one. I think we can all agree that that's not going to happen again in game two. That said, it does show that Toronto does like a grinded out style of game. The big adjustment that I would make, and it's not a, a knock on Jordan Bell, but maybe we throw in Andrew Bogut for that starting lineup. The Warriors are without Kevin Durant. They're going to be without Kevin Durant for game two. They're not really playing Draymond Green at the center position all that often. Kevon Looney, they still like him off the bench. That would be the obvious decision. Go with Kevon Looney in the starting lineup. It's the Warriors' best lineup. But Steve Kerr likes to have that steady head off the bench. Andrew Bogut has a chance to make an impact in this series because of Siakam. They put him at the dunker spot. He just kind of goes back and forth. They're taking away a lot of his versatility on the offensive end. It worked to their benefit in game one, but it gives the Warriors an opportunity to play somebody who can really protect the rim, something that they haven't really had or they didn't have in game one. It seemed like the Raptors got to it time and time again. Plenty to work on for the Warriors. They have practice today, sort of, kind of. They'll have practice tomorrow, sort of, kind of. The Raptors, I'm sure they're just going to want to run back their game one performance. And why wouldn't they? They were fantastic. We got a fun series, and we're uh, probably going to be back in Toronto here, I'd imagine. Uh, not before too long. I think so. Yeah, I think you've already booked it. So well, You're not supposed to say that. Our bosses aren't <laughs> supposed to know. They'll appreciate your frugalness, I'm sure. <laughs> Nevertheless, stay with the Bay Area News Group for all of your coverage from Toronto. And when we get back to Oakland, we'll talk there, too.